And we're back. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Palm Coast, Florida. Tomorrow the weather starts getting a bit cooler. Beautiful breezes, clear blue skies. It's a beautiful place to be in America. All right. So we have an arrival. This is from uh, AR15Discounts.com. Now I did misspeak yesterday and I forgot to include the video where I caught my mistake where I had that big white package. Most of the small parts did arrive and they're already on the... Uh, on the pistol. Uh, Battle Arms Investment Cast Enhanced Magazine Catch. Battle Arms EMR is on there. I prefer the FCDs. It's, it's okay, but FCD does it better, I think. Uh, we've got the Expo H2 buffer. It has a surprising very small amount of buffers available on primary arms. I didn't want to go the Ultor right away, so I figured I'll grab an H2 and see how it goes. Uh, this Geisley Super Duty takedown pin set was in the bag. One of those is on the gun, and the other one's about to go on. And the Triarch mil spec trigger in like a carbon gunmetal anodized kind of vibe. It's kind of cool. I don't know how good it's going to be. Probably a touch less grit than your standard mil spec, but I'm not expecting miracles for 50 bucks. So that's that. So let's dive right into this one Cobra Tech. I just uh, shipped off the EXPS3 to Brian. Thank you, Brian, for that deal, brother. I appreciate I think we both made out pretty good. I appreciate you doing that. Uh, funny story, I told Brian. I walked in, they have a new guy at the UPS store. And he, he, he wasn't a, a total dick, but he was like all power tripping. He's like, so what's in the box? I was like, oh, that's an optic. Is that firearms related? He took a step back because UPS frowns on firearms related accessories. I was like, no, no, it's for bird watching. He goes, oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. I I shipped off my IWI to the factory via UPS. I'm told they're going to send it right back to me and I have to sign for it. That's the loophole. You can ship right to the manufacturer and they can send right back to you under those circumstances. Lots of gun companies and accessory companies use UPS daily all over the country and probably all over the world. But you're going to give me shit over an optic? Please. Let's check it out. Let's get rid of my personal identifiable information so I don't get bags of dog shit and giant dildos sent to my mailbox by the snobs that hate me. I actually laughed my ass off if that happened. Just don't swap me, bro. It's not about me, but I love my dogs. Okay, so we have a BCM end plate QD. We have an FCD, TGF, Winter Garden, OD Green. I love these. We have an FCD, EMRHC, serrated. They didn't have dimpled. We have an FCD, EMRA. Nice. Ambi Mag release in the house. We have an FCD, CNF, and ODG. That's for 13.7. And lastly, we have an AO Precision C158 PCG. So let's pop this out of the way. Zero stickers. Hello. Oh, let's uh, check this BCG out. I'm curious. I caught this on a flash sale in primary. They just jumped another 30 bucks. <laughs> I caught this for like $89, and they, they retail for like $125 or so. So I did a little bit of research, and apparently it's a decent BCG. They manufacture BCGs for a lot of companies. It seems on par with uh, my Noveski. They probably make them for Noveski. And I thought AO. I did a, some quick research. Let's grab a rag. I don't want to get my American flag all nasty. Let's throw a little, a little bit of go juice in there. Let's do the standing test. Make sure it doesn't fall. No, I can't get a flat surface. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. So we'll put that over there with the others. And that's today's arrivals. So, what we're going to do 
is determine what goes where. It's time to vote. <laughs> well, the Winter Guard is going on the thir the the, the uh, thirteen seven all day. The EMRHC, I think I'm going to throw that on the Noveski. I think that's still running a mil spec. The Ambi Mag Release EMRA. Uh, dimpled, of course, whenever I can get it. Alright, so I guess we'll start with uh, setting up the buffer plunger, the rear detent, end plate, and spring. Uh, let's knock that out. That's a brand new tube, so that's cool. Alright, just a bit of coating. A little drill bit fix that. Cool, alright. Alright, so. Alright, so we have our pivot pins. Everything functional. Alright. Might need a little more sanding in there, but seems okay with the go juice. Alright, we have to torque that down later. All right, so moving on, uh, let's do the winter guard. Well, we found problem number two with the BAD lower. I'm really starting to hate this damn thing. Uh, this isn't threaded like most lowers are on this side. So this is intended to be set screwed on one side and roll pinned on the other, right? Yeah, there's no threading there. So the only other option would be to roll pin both sides, but one side is fully enclosed, so you better be damn sure that you want that there for the rest of your natural life. And I like to have options. I like to be able to, if I change my mind, change it out. All right, sorry, Anderson. I know I keep robbing your parts, but I'll replace them all, I promise. You are hanging up on the wall of fame, so it's not like it's a huge deal, but... Now this has the hinge pin. I think this came off of one of my son's blowers. They replaced it with FCD. Sorry buddy. I'll fix you up soon, I promise. Got that fixed. You like to escape, don't you, buddy? Yeah. It'll work. It's in there. Cool. All right. It's too bad we couldn't use the uh, The uh, the winter guard, uh, but I was not going to jimmy rig that with double roll pins and never be able to remove it. That works. All right, so what's next? Uh, I don't know if you're worthy of giving you an Ambi Mag release, man. No, I'm gonna leave yours on there. I'm gonna save that for somebody else. You don't deserve it. So that goes over to the parts bin for now. EMR serrated, same thing. All right, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so uh, originally I used just a basic roll pin to put this on the suns because it has a standard hole, and that's the way it normally works. Apparently, Battle Arms uses a threaded set screw slash roll pin type thing. So... Let's see how this works. 
So essentially you line it up as normal. And then you take, comes with two little Allen wrenches and one bigger one. I guess I should have lined that up first. But. The video said just, all right, so hold on. Let me prep that. You stay there. Is it this one or this one? Let's see. Let me see, will it push through normally? Yeah, it will. So he's got to find the hole properly. That's what she said. <laughs> Strange. I mean, I get what they were going for. That's awkward. Just impossible to turn, it's up against the receiver, so this minus this, I guess will make more sense. Do it at an angle a bit. Yeah, okay, the angle works. Kind of. Well, that is new. I've never seen this before. Another new thing. I mean, in some ways, maybe it's easier if you, after you've done it. Now it makes sense. Before, I was like, why is that threaded? <laughs> that makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. <laughs> All right, sorry about it, Lance. I didn't mean to shit talk you. I was just confused as to why it's different than every other receiver from EDM to Suns and on down. I guess they want to be different. There's something to be said about standardization. Alright, I guess we're good, right? Are they all the way in? Maybe one more turn? Yeah, that's good. Alright. Didn't need the tape after all. Alright, so it's uh, time to bring this guy together. Catch. Go. Cool. Trigger guard solid. No spec safety. And be show up Tuesday. Battle arms. I figured it's battle arms. Might as well get some of their shit. See how I like them. Ooh, a little loose there. Ah. Not bad. There we have it. Except for the set screw to lock down the upper and lower together. I think we're uh, done with the 13.7. Take your place, my friend. Number six. Okay. All right, so it's uh, time to bring this guy together. Bolt catch. Go. Cool. Trigger guard solid. No spec safety. And be show up Tuesday. Battle arms. I figured it's battle arms. Might as well get some of their shit. See how I like them. Ooh, a little loose there.
Not bad. There we have it. Except for the set screw to lock down the upper and lower together. I think we're uh, done with the 13.7. Take your place, my friend. Number six. Okay. Uh, pour number five, uh, four is the Suns 13.7. He is going to get the augmented forward bias dimpled FCD bolt catch that's arriving in a few days from Brian. Part of our deal with the EXPS3. Until then, there's really no need to put a mill spec on there to replace it. It'll be here soon. So, let me throw him back on. When that gets here, we'll knock that out real quick. There we go. Gray man build. I love this guy. What was the... That's number four. Now five is Mr. Noveski. And we're waiting on securing a roll pin or a pin gas block in a mid length tube. I'll make us order one of those and call it a day. So. And I have to wait to put the BCM on him, given how tight tolerant that is. And I'm going to have to use heat, because this is like the SLR. It's going to be a bitch to get on, but once it's on and locked down, it'll be bulletproof. So we're, i got to figure that out. And uh, I have uh, a new brace arriving for one of them. I'll, I don't know where I'm going to run the brace yet. It's an SBA4, so I'll try it on both, see what I like. In the meantime, I don't have any other spare braces, so he goes back to the couch for now. And uh, poor Mr. Anderson, I had to rob his buffer plunger, so we got to find him another one of those. I'm going to order an oops kit. I'm drastically low on parts now. So he goes back to the wall, but I will get you another plunger, buddy. I'll give you back yours. I'll get better ones. Maybe I'll buy an FCD one, a couple of them. They're reinforced. So you go back to your place of honor. Cool. All right, so that's where we are. 13.7 turned out pretty good. SLR finally found its its place. It took a while, bounced around a little bit. Uh, Suns 13.7 EXO2 Soul Snatcher, looking sexy. Suns 16 inch Geisley. I got something special arriving for uh, for him from Brian as well. That'll be fun. Uh, ADM 11.5 still looking cool time to shoot you guys again it's been a while yeah good old 1.0 I love him he's an ugly boy
with his mind. And the soon to be completed Noveski 14.5, Noveski Vieltor ECM FCD 14.5. And a mean tier shotgun. Cool. Stepping up in the world. Well, that's about it, guys. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the crazy. So I'll have to figure out what we're going to do with these. Where they're going to go. Noveski's going to get the uh, EMR serrated. Uh, I really have nowhere to put the. Uh, the winter guard right now so that'll go in the parts drawer and the EMRA for Ambi not sure yet but we'll figure out a place and that's about it for now as soon as I figure out the gas block thing I'll do a quick install video on the MCMR after watching a couple of ones that are out there myself just to make sure I get it right the first time and don't bang shit in the wrong way other than that we're, we're golden cool Forward motion. Have a great weekend. Peace out.